Hello everyone, it is day 30 of NaNoWriMo. It may have beaten me. I, I've been absent for the past like entire week and I'm not going to apologise for it because I was ill. I was ill, illness struck me in the final moments of NaNoWriMo and completely and utterly screwed me over and at the moment I'm feeling pretty okay with it. It's been a ride definitely it's the last day and i just wanted to get sort of what i was feeling out about everything because we're going down to the wire and here i am of course my voice barely here i can just hear it going now actually don't go before work you know i'm rushing to finish again it's my thing that's my thing you see leaving it to the last minute and procrastinating right at the end that's what i end up doing all the time and i don't know whether that's just my brain that sort of does it or whether that's me as a writer thinking that i'm better that way i don't i don't know what it is i'll analyze that later anyway it is 20 to 2 in the afternoon i have barely two hours before i need to leave for work for the evening and then I'll have, what, three and a half hours once I get back to write. And I don't even know. Okay, so here's where I stand. My goal for this NaNoWriMo was to write 100,000 words. That was my personal goal. I hit 50,000 words on the 13th of November. Last Friday, the 22nd, was my last good day of writing. Saturday, I got ill. And then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I was not well. And I was okay-ish by Wednesday. And I managed a few words over those few days, making sure that I updated every single day because that was at least one thing that I wanted to do, no matter how crappy I was feeling. Wednesday, I dawdled with writing. And I wanted to make a video. And I wanted to do some work. But I only, I only sort of ended up writing like the last few words of my novel and I think it was Wednesday I wrote the end on Project Floral despite plot holes I have despite chapters being half of what I want them to be and not full of detail despite scenes missing details and bits and pieces despite me having written half a chapter with stuff planned for the rest of the chapter I just didn't actually end up writing it I called the end on the novel and I think it ended up being just under, or just hitting 90,000 words. And there's a reason I didn't want to call the end on the novel. Because I knew that my head would go, right, okay, cool, you finish. You don't need to do any more work. And thus would make it difficult for me to do some work. But the other part of me was like, it's fine. You've still got 10,000 words to write for NaNoWriMo. So you've got that that's that's the goal you need to have in your head and lo and behold my brain went you finished with the novel and has not wanted me to write since which which as you can imagine is not a very good thing at all thursday morning i woke up and i told myself right there's three more days left of nanomimo just three more days you need to write three thousand words in each of these three days in order to hit your one hundred thousand words and let's just say i haven't done it which is now why I'm here, the last day of NaNoWriMo, trying to write 6,500 words because that's how many words I have to hit 100,000 and get that personal goal done. And I'm sort of debating, actually, is it something that I really want to do? Do I really want to achieve this personal goal of mine? Because there's no agency with me behind it at the moment. I'm sort of just like... If you do, great, that's fantastic. But if you don't, you don't. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. I'm not sure whether this unwillingness to write is stemming from the fact that I have written so much this month. It's 90,000 words the most I can write in one month without feeling like masses and masses of creative burnout, like I can't write anymore. I don't quite have that feeling like I can't write. I can write. If I wanted to write, I could. And I have been writing slowly. But that NaNoWriMo pressure is gone now. 
now that I've hit 50,000 words, now that I've called the end on Project Floral, that pressure, that, that need, that desire to write for NaNoWriMo has like sort of left me. And I'm writing how I, I guess I would write during the year, sort of this slow paced, thinking more about what I want to write rather than just writing as much as I can, as fast as I can. You know, I'm thinking about the quality, I'm thinking about exactly what it is I want to say and how I want to frame the sentences and on the one hand I'm like should you really be going this slowly when you have 100,000 words to write and the other part of me is going you know what this is great this is a nice change of pace like take your time 100,000 words doesn't matter I'm not sure which voice I'd rather listen to so yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do and it's I don't know it's weird feeling this way for me because I'm not used to writing when well, it's not an anarimo I'm not used to writing unless it's quickly, unless it's crappily, unless it's revision, obviously. I'm not used to... I'm not used to it. I can't, I can't, I can't explain it. I might be a writer, but I can explain nothing well at all whatsoever. So, hi, this is how I'm feeling post NaNoWriMo, even though it's not post NaNoWriMo just yet. I don't know where I wanted to go with this video either, to be fair. I'm just sort of like talking stuff out. It's weird. Like, it's weird that this 100,000 is not as important to me as I thought it was. Like, I thought it was super important. Like, I want to write 100,000 words a month. Like, that was my thing. And I don't want to fail. I don't want to fail, but... At the same time, for the first time since I might not be able to achieve this goal I want to achieve, I'm thinking to myself, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you achieve 100,000 words this month because look at what you have achieved. You achieved 93,000 words so far this month. You've achieved 17k in 12 hours. You have plotted and written and then replotted, I might add, an entire novel during NaNoWriMo. You vlogged more or less every single day, except obviously this past week where I've not been feeling very well. I don't know, I'm just focusing on what I have achieved instead of what I have not achieved and that's such a weird thing for me personally to do because I've never done it. Usually I focus on what I have not done. And that's what drives me. You haven't written 100,000 words yet. Get your ass in gear. You better do it. Otherwise, you're a failure. And I don't know. It's just so fun and it's so freeing to just be like, but it doesn't matter. If I don't write 100 words, okay, who cares? But how much have I actually written? Like, I've never written 100,000 words in one month before. But then again, I haven't ever written 90,000 words in one month before. And that is just as impressive. And... It's so weird, like have I reached the next level of my writer's journey where I'm proud of what I've done no matter what happens? Like, is that possible? I hope so. I hope so, because that's going to be so much fun going into New Year when I've got all my other stuff to do. That's what I'm feeling right now. I, I don't care if I don't hit 100,000 words, I don't. I do not care if I do not hit my personal goal of 100,000 words during the month of NaNoWriMo because regardless of if I hit it or not, I have done a pretty freaking fantastic job. My tea has gone cold. I'm going to continue writing until I've got to go to work and I'm going to continue writing afterwards but I'm not going to be so focused or worried about how much I'm writing. It's going to be more of a casual, just how far can you go towards this 100,000 words that you want to write. I'm not going to try and force that pressure on me to write as many words as I can. I'm just going to write. I'm going to take the time and I'm going to chill and I'm going to enjoy writing for what it is rather than try and enjoy writing for the challenge of writing X amount of words. And it's been such a long time since I've just written to write and I'm gonna have some fun with it. We're gonna have some fun. Last leg of writing before I take my Christmas break, I suppose. <laughs> or will I take my Christmas break? I might continue writing throughout December at this weird chill, no pressure pace that I have currently at the moment. We'll see how it goes. 
but I think that's a lesson I want to try and take into next year with me is to allow yourself the enjoyment of writing and don't put the pressure on it because yes I can write under pressure and yes I can do good things while I write under pressure but writing just to write sort of gives me more freedom to explore what I'm writing and yeah it's given me a better draft obviously because I'm not trying to write 1,000 words in 30 minutes and spelling everything incorrectly and not worrying about grammar or if something makes sense and I'm gonna go off on a ramble again now if I don't stop so I'm gonna stop before I do so. Let me know down in the comments below how has your Nana Remo gone for you? Did you end up winning? Where are you sitting? How how are you feeling now that it is over? And I will see you next month, probably not with a vlog, shockingly enough, as we continue our writer's journey post NaNoWriMo 2019. Bye guys.